Continuing to fill questions for you, Simile, I have a student from within our Telegram group who's asking, uh, why is it the case that I've made prior clips uh, saying that random untimed tutor mode is better for UWorld? Uh, he or she is studying for step two, but for QBank in general, okay? Why have I made prior clips saying that random untimed tutor mode is better, okay? He says, he or she says, why not just subject specific, all right? Uh, can I just give a quick remark on that? Yes, I will, all right? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-A-H-L, man underscore medical, links down below, find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below, not start the clip. So student wants to know why I've made prior clips talking about why uh, random untimed tier mode is better in QBank as opposed to subject specific. And same as my prior fucking clips, I'm articulating right now that for macro retention, macro retention, when you finally get to the real deal, you're more likely to have remembered the material if you go about it in random mode as opposed to subject specific. I'll get to the time stuff in a moment. But in terms of if you study all of your cardio all at once, you might feel like you're packing the punch, you're reinforcing it. Some students want to feel that way. Okay. You say, I want to knock out the subject. Like I need a, a dense, uh, I need to have a high temporal density in order to really retain it. I understand that sentiment. But meanwhile, three weeks later, they remember jack fucking shit. Okay. So the exam is random mode. So you need to have in your mind just you need to have the ability to sort through questions in random mode. Okay, seeing a question three weeks later on rheumatic fever, getting it wrong when you just saw it today is more valuable in terms of macro retention than seeing it 12 hours later or tomorrow. Okay, now in terms of tutor mode versus timed, it's in my view that in tutor mode, being able to see the answer instantly enables a shock value, okay? So you choose cystic fibrosis, you click the answer, it's fucking wrong, it's Cartagena sy syndrome, primary ciliary dyskinesia, you're like, what the fuck? And then you read about it and you're like, oh, okay, I didn't know that. But having that what the fuck moment instantly, that shock value, just it's gonna ingrain the memory better, okay? So doing things in tutor mode. In addition to the fact that it's active engagement, you're doing the question followed by passive reading, active engagement, doing the question, passive reading, that oscillatory process allows students to not ADHD the fuck out to the same degree that if they have to do 40 fucking monotonous explanations they need to read after doing a block of 40 questions. So students tend to maintain engagement better. Most students, okay, if they do things in tutor mode, all right, and then as I just fucking said, doing things in random mode is going to help with your macro retention. You know the deal to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.